Welcome to Total Justice Gaming, bringing you your Star Dragon World deck. Uh, good old Thora, and let's get started. So we're still doing Buddy, because Thora is the best Buddy. Because, I mean, can't be destroyed, uh, can't be dealt damage, two soul, double tag, I mean, it's just very good, standard, strong card. I'm playing uh, four of the new Athora. Um, it's kind of a tryout right now. You lose the uh, double attack that you do with the original Thora, but you get the counter attack. That's the and you gain a crit. Um, you you lose, but you gain, and it kind of, which kind of balances it out. But I don't know if I can fairly say that this one's better. Well, actually, this one's better because you can't take any damage. But in the long run, this one's always going to be your buddy. Uh, we went down to uh, three of the green dragon, uh, Sheldry. I mean, you can't. Gaining a life every time it's destroyed is really good. You have stuff that prevents it from leaving the field. You know, plenty of spells that prevent it from leaving the field, so it technically gets destroyed and you just gain life. Um, double attack can destroy monsters. It's just a good, uh, just a very solid card. It only costs two gauge, whereas all, pretty much all the Athoras cost for three. <laughs> and then I'm trying out. I'm trying out these two, the two uh, regular Thor. Um, this is kind of a, just a. He's kind of a beta test right now. As you get this, and this is actually going to be the last of the threes. Um, the big thing is, I know that's a lot of gauge. Most of my stuff, you know, pretty much all the Athoras, except all my size threes, except for uh, three of them, cost three gauge. Um, yes, you can run into gauge problems, but this is kind of a make it or break it deck. At times, especially with the um, the play styles and the uh, people that I play, so I can usually keep these things on the field long enough to um, gain back gauge enough. So if it does get destroyed, I can just play another one. But we're gonna try this one out. I mean, minus one, minus one to everything on their field. Um, can't be destroyed by artifacts. Still, the you know typical Thor effect. Very solid. Definitely not as good as the other two, but we'll we'll see. Now for my uh, my new favorite side zero. He's a uh, red dragon and a merle. He gets up. Uh, I mean, when something's destroyed, gauge, gauge and draw. I mean, deck thinning's deck winning. Enough said. And the, the other zero. Um, give monsters penetrate. Uh, Terranat, Terranat's the, you know, gives Master's Penetrate. A lot of, you know, a lot of stuff negates damage, but um, most stuff, if you're not doing the mirror match, doesn't, so you can um, drain him down quicker when he's on the field. Just kind of, you know, this all new cards, still trying to test them out. And then my last of the monsters that I'm trying out are uh, two Athor SD. Um, he's also a beta test. The uh, size ones that cost, uh, or I mean, not the size ones, the size zeros that cost to gauge. I always, I'm always a little iffy about. I'm always a little iffy about, but uh, the, um, but uh, size one, you know, size zeros that pay gauge. We'll see um, how it works. I mean, preventing something to be destroyed and uh, not being able to be destroyed if. You have, you, so you have basically have a zero for life as long as you have a size three, and he can prevent your big size two from being destroyed. So he's kind of like a, almost a baby Ricky in a sense, which baby Ricky is a very good card. So we'll we'll see. Um, as I said this is all just a beta. This is all kind of a beta with this deck. We'll uh, we'll see what I like and see what I don't like. Um, that's it for the monsters um, for spells. We're still going with the four enhancement. I mean, gauge draw, still really good. De you know, I say it, I say it before. I think one of my favorite phrases: deck thinning is deck winning. The more you can filter through your deck, the quicker you can get you go through deck. The quicker you can get your stuff. The quicker you can win the game. So yeah, obvious. Um, three mystery setting. Being able to have a card that cannot be removed from the. Um, Removed from the your soul, 
your soul is a very good, very good. And you know, every time your monster is attacked, well, the one time that your monster attack, all I have to do is tag it once. That turn, you can gain gauge. So that you know, that helps a lot with your gauge problem. If you ever run into it, you know, plus the enhancement. So you know, you're going to get your gauge back inevitably. So now for basically all the shields. We're still playing a four radiant shield. I mean, pay gauge, nullify and deal damage to your opponent. It's really good. You know, swol just being able to whitt whittle your opponent down piece by piece, just so you can and just get them there where you can impact them is very good. For the new card, uh, Prism Canceller. Um, Opponent's turn, if you have Prism Dragon on your you know, center, nullify the attack. And if you have an item equipped, it cannot be nullified. So as long as you have um, you know, one of your cleats or whatever attack, you know, equipped, they can't stop this and you can nullify it. It's very good. Then of course my uh, favorite my favorite nullifier, uh, Brush Upper. It's really good. In most matchups, except for bots, you will, Brush Hopper is not your best friend in bots. Um, brush Hopper is really good, um, especially combined with uh, the new Athora, because you can, you know, Thora ha that new Athora has counterattack now, prevent, um, prevent being destroyed, you know, prevent for leaving the field, so it's still considered destroyed. So with Brush Hopper, you can get the counterattack off, which is very good. Um, also, you can target your, uh, it says Prison Dragon on your, oh, I think Cassie of card is there as Prison Dragon on your center. So you can choose, you can choose a Prism Dragon on your field, which means your items. So you can actually prevent your items from being destroyed, which is also really good. So just multi-versatile card, and you get a gauge if you have six or more life, which is not hard to do in this deck. So, I mean, multi-purpose cards are very good. And the last of the basic quote unquote shield, uh, new uh, additional jewel, plus five, uh, 5k defense and give it counterattack. Um, we're trying this out too. I know eventually um, Star Dragon World's gonna get a basically, it's a wrath trigger, a gener and it's generic for everything. So until that comes out, we'll stick with this and we'll, you know, of course, lineup will change at some point. But until then, so then we got additional jewel. Solid card, gives it plus five. Um, you can use this on your item. Oh, never mind, I, I lied. It says monster. Ha, saw that. But, I mean, plus five in counterattacks is really good. That's it for spells. Um, going to items. I still run three uh, crystal spike. I still feel it's the best, um, your best uh, weapon. You, I don't have it three. Uh, I draw into it a lot. I guess it's just lucky me. If you come into that problem, I do recommend you go back up to four. It's a very good card. Until I start really not seeing it in my hand, I'm going to keep it at three for now. Because I have the new, I run the two, two new Lapis. Which Lapis, I love the fact that I can just keep stacking defense. It just seems like a just a really good thing. Um, still has the same ability that um, just like your old spikes does, where you, your build your center card's abilities can't be nullified, which is really good, especially against you know like stars like to nullify all your all your junk, and helps out with that problem. So that's it for items, and last but not least, without you know impacts. We all know we're gonna go to Cristiano Crystal Shoot. I mean, one of the one of the best impacts in the game right now. I mean, that's why Fuller coming here saying that could be argued, but that's why I said one of the best impacts in the game. Didn't say the best. This is totally this game, and we always get in each other's videos. You have to get used to it by now. Yeah. So I mean, it's one of the. That's why I said it wasn't the best. I do not think it is the best um, I mean, I impact in the game, but I do think it's one of. I, I can agree. I can, I can agree with you. I mean, yeah. like that one in the Xbox are clearly the best as of right now. I think. Um, I honestly think the um, the Dragon World bots one's better. 
in the long run. I think it's easier to use. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, with your, as long as you, because well, you have to keep the defense. All they got to do is attack three and be at five. And that's it. Yes, that and he has to have a, a no monster. In this. Mm-hmm. Opponent has no monster in the center. Well, yeah, that's but the, I think I think the bots one's better, but I think this one is easier used against bots. No, that's true. I mean, that one can still gain from a lot of other decks besides bots. Like, bots is yes. the only one that you have a terrible matchup with. Like, any other deck, you can you can almost steal the game completely. Yeah. And that's going to change soon with um, a lot of things where I can just, instead of, um, I can just stop the attack period even though I can't, even though it says um, I can't use counters or I can just, where I'll just be able to be like, oh, well, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Eventually, we're going to get to that point where I can um, have a, you know, where I can use that, you know, beautiful card that says my monsters cannot be destroyed, period. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. until that day, we'll just have to uh, rue the uh, the times that we go against that boss that just keeps restanding and restanding for no, no cost whatsoever. That's my favorite one. <laughs> That's my buddy. <laughs> it's a very good card, and I will not disagree with that. <laughs> But yeah, back to Christian and shoot. You know, if you don't know what it already does, you know, pay two gauge on your opponent's final turn, deal damage, four damage to them. Can't, you know, as long as you didn't take any damage and you have a size, uh, or you don't have a size three prism, as long as you just have a prism dragon on your center, and uh, can't they can't uh, nullify it and they can't reduce it and they can't um, revive. It literally says in parentheses right there between my fingers, unrevivable. So, good card is good. All right, that was that was my new uh, Thor deck. Um, I'm still tinkering with it. I'm sure, like after this video, I will um, cards will be replaced, and we'll see what you know. That's that's the beauty about this game. You have a lot of good cards that you can uh, tinker with in the deck, and you see how everything works, and just fine tune. So this kind of gives you a skeleton. There's no right or wrong, really with this deck. Once you get the skeleton of it, you can just tweak it to the way you like. But, we'll see how far that goes. Alright guys, Joey from Just Total Just Gaming and the Mamba, and we will uh, see you later.